Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to enter a reorder point for your inventory. All right, so you know if you track inventory in QuickBooks Online, and this is really only available in QuickBooks Online Plus, and you track inventory, uh, you can enter reorder points. And so what that means is QuickBooks is going to tell you, okay, hey, you're running low on such and such inventory item, and you need to reorder. Okay, so this can be very handy in business, uh, especially when you're busy, you know, you've got things going on and you're not necessarily taking a physical inventory count to know if you're low or not. Uh, so this is a, a very handy feature. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go to our products and services uh, list. Okay, so if we go up here and we go to our lists, you're gonna go to products and services. All right, so you see here, these are all the products and services that you in your business uh, provide. So we'll look at this pump. All right, so this is an inventory item and you'll see here quantity on hand, 25, uh, but there is no reorder point. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna simply click edit. And when it comes up here, you're gonna see here, you've got the quantity on hand, 25, and right here, reorder point. Okay, so let's say that we want this to be 10 and we hit save and close. All right, so now we're gonna see the reorder point is 10. So now what QuickBooks Online is gonna do is it's gonna alert you and say, hey, you've hit 10, it's time to reorder. All right, so this is a very simple thing you can do. You can set up in your QuickBooks Online file uh, to make sure that you uh, keep your inventory in stock and you know uh, what's going on and, and how much needs to be reordered. And uh, so this can really help you out in business. All right. Any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to see you over there at qbuniversity.org.